Expo Router version 3 is right around the corner and with it comes a significant change, API routes. Yes, this means you can safely write API logic in your React Native front-end project using Expo. Gone are the days of additional ExpressJS proxy servers so you can make a safe call to the OpenAI API. No, you can do this all in one project now and that means this could potentially replace a lot of setups where Next.js is used, which is currently a common thing to have like Solito, which unifies routing with the Mono repository structure of Expo and Next.js application. I'm gonna talk more about this in a future video as well. Sebastian from This Week in React, by the way, highly recommend and you should subscribe to that newsletter, actually had a tweet recently where he picked up another tweet from Andrew Clark, who's a contributor to Next.js, who said, I can't prove this, but I suspect if someone built a Next.js as remakes for React Native, that means single code base for client and server, they would make a trillion dollars. And Evan Bacon, of course, replied to that. And it looks like Expo is actually on track to that. So let's take a closer look at Expo Router version 3. I created this little example application. I will just run NPX Expo here in my React Native application. This is an example I took from uh, my workshop about Expo Router. I'm going to bring that workshop back in 2024 with Expo Router version 3. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in a full day workshop live with me. So what I created in this application is basically um, an application which has different tabs and can have like a home screen and stuff. But this application can also run on the web. You're going to see on the web it actually looks somewhat different. But we're not here to talk about the web features. This is all impressive. Um, there's like a head tag, you can have SEO, you can use CSS. Really let me know in the comments if you wanna see more about that stuff and how you can make this work. But what we wanna see is API routes. So what I have in here is I created this Simon plus API.tsx and this is the code. So the code looks a bit strange as we have like this expo request and expo response object. Maybe that changes in the future, but for now this is required. And let's see if we can somehow toggle this um, or call this. So I will try to create a new HTTP request. Uh, HTTP uh, localhost Simon, I think 8081. Let's make a get request and boom. We're getting back hello world. Now, you might ask yourself, what exactly is going on? Is this served in my app? Is this in my native app? Where is this going on? While we're doing this, um, during debugging, all of this happens locally, okay? So if we check this out uh, and run NPX Expo, Expo will basically spin up a server for us that serves this as an endpoint. Um, we can also set a origin and more stuff. There's like a good documentation for this, but this is only available with Expo SDK 50 and Expo Router version three. Just gonna put this up here. This works pretty nice. And of course, this is only a simple get request, but you could also have, um, you could have an API folder and do all your API stuff in here, or you could have something like this where you define a post request. You could then also grab secret keys from your environment. So this is another thing. That's really interesting. If you build an application, let's say you want to build an app that uses OpenAI APIs, you don't want to put your secret key in your React Native front-end application. I had a video about this on how to secure your application. You could check it out. Basically, everything we have in here will be exposed to our application if we have Expo public in here. But if we now just define a secret key and we use that in our API route, where's my API route again? Um, like this up here, this is totally safe. During the beta, there might be some uh, secret keys flowing into the front end bundle. Be aware that was like a little statement uh, on the release notes, but otherwise this is totally fine because this code here does not run in your React Native app. This runs on the server. And you could imagine what you can do with this. And there are some pretty wild examples. Um, I actually found somebody replying to me on uh, Twitter the other day who created a TRPC Expo API routes demo. Yes, you can even have TRPC included. So that will make Theo really, really happy. Peace notes. Crazy. Uh, you can use Zod as you see, it makes it totally type safe. The possibilities of Expo Router version three are just 
really, really infinite. I highly recommend check out the Explorator version 3 beta ducks. There's a lot more about all the things that, uh, that, that are like faster and smaller bundle size and splitting, but API routes are really the thing that can like have a substantial impact on how people create React Native applications. As I said, there's a lot more beyond this. In my project, I've tried to create this as well. Uh, for example, here we have an implementation, we have head tags, uh, we can actually use web and we can use CSS with Expo Router. We can easily import my CSS from here and we can have um, different files for web and for uh, native by uh, simple logic. And we don't use Solito or Next.js or anything else in here. I found this to be really, really impressive. Oh, and if you wonder how you can deploy this, well, there's a simple guide on how we can do this with Vercel or with Netlify. I did it for Netlify. This just requires to add a little server file here for Netlify and then come up with a Netlify toml. Uh, which executes our web stuff and publishes the client and uh, redirects the traffic. So just a bit of code in here. As a result, I have my application up and running uh, here at imaginative Bellacoy something. <laughs> so that means I should in theory be able to make my request to that endpoint now instead as that's really the same app. So let's give it a try and I get back hello world. Let's see, I had another one at I think post and I could make a post request there and I had to put in a little body. So uh, let's use raw JSON. I had to pass in something like name, uh, galactic friend, make a post. And then we get this back from the hosted version. So I'm really making a call here. And because this is in our Expo app, you could have really easy URLs in your services in the files where you're using these endpoints as the everything just clicks together and you can create really amazing stuff. All of this will be included in Expo SDK 50, which might or might not be released, but it's right around the corner. So you can actually already try this out and use it and of course benefit from everything else. Um, that's in here. Now the question remains, can this replace Next.js? And I think the answer is actually yes, surprisingly yes. This is version 3 of Expo Router. There's also version 4 already planned from Evan. Uh, I don't know exactly what's included, but they will improve on the API routes and the web export. So in the future, in 2024 and beyond, starting with React Native might actually be the best choice if you want a great mobile application, but also a website and have the most code share between these projects because as I said initially the other projects require a somewhat challenging setup you're gonna have a mono repository that you will have a next.js and an expo application and then you might use Tamagui or another library to actually make that work and then you need Solito to unify the routing so you see it becomes a lot more challenging but just using expo just using React Native makes this really, really easy and really, really powerful. What do you think? Can Expo Router version 3 replace some of the Next.js logic or SwelteKit or other full stack frameworks because you can have everything with React Native? Let me know in the comments. And also, I've pinned another video about Expo Router that I did so you get a feeling of how it works. And here's another video that YouTube, of course, recommends for you. So keep watching and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, happy coding, Simon.